Happy Vlogmas Day 1! Hey you guys! Happy Day 1 of Vlogmas. I am so excited. There is so much magical Christmas energy that is going to be in this vlog today. First stop is getting some Christmas nails. Now they're not gonna be super extra festive quite yet. So that'll be later in Vlogmas. Um, but I do need to redo my nails before we leave for our cruise. Um, so these are about two weeks old right now. I'm gonna get something kind of icy, snowy, sparkly. I'll show you when I am done. And I'm also going to get my pedicure today. And I think I'm going to get red on my toes for Christmas time. Um, and yeah, I don't want to give too much away. So I'll share the rest of the magic later as we go. So I did chrome nails and they're absolutely gorgeous. So in the light, you can see it kind of has like a greenish tint to it. But if you kind of tuck it away from the light, it has more of like pink and blue sparkles with a white base. So it's very, I don't know, like when snow has light reflect against it, that's what I kind of was going for. So that's why I wanted to do chrome nails. And these are so pretty. I love them. And on my toes, I did a red sparkle. And I'll show you when I get home. So now I am here at Ulta Beauty picking up a pickup order. Okay, kind of a weird angle and you're probably going to fall at any at any moment here because <laughs> you're just gently propped up right now. But like I said, I went to Ulta and look how cute these pink bags are. Loving it. Okay, let me show you what I got. So there's been so many sales right now from Black Friday on down to Cyber Monday and everything, right? Um, this was on sale for like half off and a lot of good reviews. It's, it's by Eva NYC and it's Therapy Session Hair Mask. I was in need of a new hair mask. As you can see, I need to wash my hair tomorrow. And this is supposed to smell really good. Oh, it does smell super good. Very sweet smelling and it's supposed to be super hydrating. So, and I feel like you get a lot for your money's worth too. It was like eight bucks on sale. Then I got a new Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub. I swear by these, especially in the fall, winter, when we get a little scaly and rough skin, we're getting dry, you need to get that off, and this is amazing. It doesn't have any microbeads, it's real sugar, so it just melts away in the shower and it really exfoliates well. And this is a new scent for me, Candy Cane. I wanted to try this out for winter. Cute packaging, huh? Let's see how it smells. Online, the review said it kind of was, um, Oh my gosh. Mm, it smells so good. Like all the best candy cane scents. It's like a vanilla sweet candy cane scent. It's not too overpowering peppermint. Oh, it's perfect. So yeah, cannot wait to use that in my shower tonight. I repurchased the Voluminous Lash Paradise in the waterproof for my um, cruise that we're going on. And then also got a travel size of the Big Sexy Hair Volumizing Hairspray, my tried and true, something that I always repurchase. Also repurchased the Topic Colored Hair Thickness. This gives like color in anywhere that I have sparseness still in my hair. And then I did pick up two brow pencil products from NYX. I love their brow stuff. And they had like a buy one, get one free going on at Ulta. So this one is in chocolate and it's just their micro brow pencil. It's a really nice fine tipped brow pencil. And then also this, I don't think I've tried this before, but I love things like this. Like, um, I had one from Benefit Cosmetics and one other brand. Um, but this is a micro brush tip. Um, and it's called Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. It's supposed to make those little like brow strokes as if you have microblading, which I don't have any makeup on right now except for um, mascara and a little bit of chapstick. I don't have anything on my brows though. So you can see this is just my microblading and it's nice, but when I do my makeup, you need a lot more than that. So 
that's it. All right. I'm also going to go to Hallmark right now to pick up a, a present for my mom um, because actually she needs to be cheered up. So she was over at my house and I don't know what possessed her to help me, but she wanted to help me put up some of the wreaths in the kitchen while I was gone. And one dropped and fell on Mr. Cow. And if you've been around with me for a long time, you know that was my grandma's cow that she had in her kitchen. It's a ceramic cow and called her Bessie and she broke in a couple pieces. So she feels really bad. And I, of course I was sad, but I didn't want to make her feel worse. And it's just, it's just an item, it, but it had sentimental value to it. So anyways, I want to cheer her up with something. So we're going to go and get her her snowman for this year. She collects the snowmen at Hallmark. So hopefully they have them. We're going to go sneak a peek at the Hallmark right next door and see if they have it. Here they are. They are so cute this year, you guys. Look at, they're making Christmas cookies. Okay, that's got to make her smile, right? A mini baby version. All right, you guys, success. Cute bag, and I got something free in there. I'll show you when I get home. I'm gonna vlog you. Huh? You're gonna, gonna vlog, vlog me? You. Yep. Okay, put your hands out. Oh, <laughs> look how cute it is this year. They're baking cookies. Oh my gosh. Bye, baby. <laughs> right? Isn't it cute? Oh gosh, that's me. It's so cute, right? Yeah, it's so cute. Mama brought us salads from Blue 32. Yum, yum, yum. Thank They're you, Southwest. Honey, it's so cute. You're welcome. Oh my goodness, you guys, it really does feel like Christmas already because I just got another package in the mail and this one is from Bath and Body Works. And look how gorgeous this candle holder is. Now this is a single wick candle holder from Bath and Body Works. It does light up and it has so much beautiful detail. Look at all of this glittery snow all over. This is the button to turn it on. I haven't put the batteries in yet. It has like kind of like a more rose gold copper appearance to it, like a gingerbread house. On both sides, you can see how beautiful it is. So you definitely want to display this somewhere where they can see it from both sides. So pretty. Okay, now I don't have a Bath & Body Works single wick candle because they're not my favorite, to be honest. But here is another candle that I have that fits nicely on top of it. Um, so yeah, that's what it will look like. And I'll show you where I end up setting it up. I'm not so I decided to put it in my beauty room since I have rose gold and gold features here. Um, and then I did put batteries in it. So you just press the button. And there you go, look how cute that is. I love it so much. I just have to get a cute single wick candle now because that one's not the prettiest. <laughs> 
but I will use it for now. This one's actually, the reason it's messy is because it was one of those that you get a like a um, diamond out of the candle. Chris gave it to me last Christmas. <laughs> Funny name for it, right? But it actually has lasted quite a long time. We're almost done with it. But it's all messy because you had to dig out the, the diamond in the candle. So I am making mashed potatoes for the first time by myself. And not only am I doing mashed potatoes by myself for the first time, but I'm using a ricer for the first time by myself, as well as using the Instapot to make the mashed potatoes, to make these potatoes cook faster, boil faster. So I've already peeled and chopped up um, about six medium um, yellow potatoes. And now I'm gonna put them in the Instapot and I'll show you what they look like after. So I'm gonna be using the Belmont potato ricer. Bellmain, and it comes with a bunch of different settings that you can use. Um, but my mom swears by using a ricer when making mashed potatoes to make sure to not get in any lumps. And so I have faith in this tool today. The Instapot totally worked really well, eight minutes in the Instapot. But what's funny is they don't tell you, it takes 10 minutes for the pressure to release too. So it's really 18 minute potatoes, but they are super soft and ready to go. And I'm gonna use this tool now. Look at those creamy mashed potatoes. I think I definitely made a winner. And since it's day one of Vlogmas, that means also start of advent calendars. I have this doggy advent calendar that I'm gonna use this year from Costco and you can still get this. I did see it there. How cute is it? Looks like a little gingerbread house if you haven't already seen this on my vlogs has toys and treats, and look how stinking cute. Oh my gosh, look how cute this is, you guys. Come on. All right, so we are gonna do day one. Oh, it looks like it's Lucy and Holly's lucky day. They get some treats today. Looks like cute little gingerbread men. Let me take one out and show you guys. There's Mr. Gingerbread Man. So cute. Ready, baby? This. Me, Glenny. Oh, she's not so sure if she likes it yet. She's she's picky with hard treats. You want this gingerbread man, honey? There you go. Okay, Lucy's not picky. She's like, heck yes. This is mighty tasty. Okay. Okay, clearly the next day, but I wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching Vlogmas Day 1. There is so much more Christmas excitement coming up in the next couple days, so be prepared for all the Christmas magic. Please tell me down below if there's anything specific that you maybe want to see during this Vlogmas season. I'm going to be showing you how to um, do some decor hacks cooking, definitely lots of baking and cooking ideas and recipes, wrapping presents, going to fun events, which is going to be in next the next one, um, day two. We're going to something special. So be on the lookout and I'll see you then. <music>